Welcome to Davos Technology, where we bring you the latest, most practical guides on technology, cybersecurity, and identity management. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss our art insights. In today's video, we are diving into the world of identity and access management as we walk you through the step-by-step -step installation of the identity IQ on a Windows machine. Whether you are an IT security professional, a beginner exploring identity and access management, or someone looking to step up sale point for testing and learning, this guide has got you covered. We'll go through the prerequisites, setting up the necessary environments, installing the application, and finally verify the identity is up and running. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's start on securing identities with Sale point. Want to install Identity IQ on a Windows machine? This is a complex process that involves several steps, including systems preparation, database setup, and application installation. The prerequisites are, one, the hardware requirement. You need to have a system with eight core processor or a minimum recommendation of four core processor. For the memory, RAM, it should be 16 GB or minimum of eight. GB. The disk space should be 50 GB free space or minimum of 250 MB free space. You need Windows machine, either Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows server of any form, either 2016, 2019, 2022, or 2025. As a prerequisite, we have installed Windows machine on VMware Workstation. We have that video. You can watch it on our channel. The software requirement for this lab include Java Development Kit 8 or later or any new version, MySQL 8.4 or any version. It can also be Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle Database, depending on your configuration. We will need Apache Tomcat and you need to ensure there's network connectivity and proper firewall setting. And of course, you need SailPoint installation package. You can obtain the latest SailPoint Identity IQ installation package from your SailPoint representative in your organization. But I'll put the step-by-step -step guide into everything we are going to do in this lab in the description box for your use at your convenience so that you can replicate the lab we want to do today. I'll give you various links to various softwares that we are going to use in this lab. So let's get started. The first thing, we want to install Java Development Kit. So you open your browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge here. Never mind. I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step guide in the description box so that you can replicate the process at your convenience. You can download the Java development. When you get to the Oracle website, you scroll down, select the version of JDK you want to use. Here, I want to select JDK 23. Then I scroll down, select the operating system on which you want to install the sale point. I've selected Windows here. Then I want to use this installer. Click this to download. It's downloading. We have downloaded Java JDK version 23. Let's download another software which we are going to use before we begin the installation. I want to download MySQL installer 8.4. Go to mysql.com to download that. Download tab. Click MySQL Community GPL downloads. You can either use MySQL installer for Windows or MySQL Community Server. Let's click MySQL installer for Windows. You can see the various versions here. We have 5.7, 0 0.44, 8.0, 0 0.41. We have the different operating systems here, but I want to use that of Windows. Click on download here. You don't need to log in or sign up. You click no, thanks. Just start my download. So you have downloaded my SQL installer. We also need Apache Tomcat. I'll give you the link to that as well in the description box. So let's go to this website to download Apache Tomcat or you can go Tomcat. You will see it there so that you'll be able to download it. Scroll down a bit. Look at your Windows version. I want to use 4-bit Windows zip. I've downloaded the Apache Tomcat. Those are the softwares we need for this lab. You can see I already have Identity IQ 8.2, downloaded Java JDK, MySQL installer 
an Apache Tomcat. Now, let's run the Java JDK. You can right click and run as administrator or you double click. I've double click here. You click yes. So it's still run. You can see. Click next. Java has been successfully installed. Click close. So now let's look at the directory where Java has been installed. Go to the file explorer, click this PC, local disk C program file. You can see Java here. We have Java JDK 23. Now we'll proceed to set the Java home environment variable. To do this, we'll go to the file explorer, click on this PC, properties, click scroll down. You see advanced system setting, you click on that. You go to environment variables, you click it. Here, under environment variables, what you will do, you click new here. You browse the directory, not browse file. You browse the directory to this PC. You scroll down to look at the C, go to Java and to Java JD. That is just it. Then you name it Java Home. We can see Java Home. This is the value. That is the directory. You scroll down to where you have paths. Then you will need to set another path. You click, you click new. Then you add this to the path. This is what you will add to the path. Then you click OK. You can close all this. You have installed JDK and set the Java home environment variables. You have successfully done that. The next thing you will do is go click to search for command prompt. You can use CMD and open it to see the Java version, which you have installed. Java, type Java version. Yes, we can see that we have Java version 23.0.2 installed on our system. So that's in the case that we have successfully installed Java. Now, we need to run the MySQL installer which we downloaded earlier. Now, this is what we downloaded. You now double click it to run. Click yes, you can minimize this. Select full, click execute, MySQL in this case. So all have been downloaded, you click execute so as to install all. We need to be patient for all the components to be fully installed. Installation is about to be completed. Now, all the installations are complete. So, you click next, click next, put in your password, a strong password, and make sure you don't forget the password because you still need it. The user you want to add, then you put in strong password, but you are not adding another user in this case. So I put in my password here, then click execute and allow all this to execute. Then you click next again. You start, you check start MySQL shell after setup. You click finish. You have successfully installed MySQL server on your system. Then this is the workbench. Though we will not need this for our tutorial today. We only need the command line interface. Now, the next stage is having installed that, we'll go to the file explorer. This identity I, which we downloaded, which I've extracted here, you look at the components. These are the components of it. We have database, documentation, integration, connection. Connect. You have another zipped folder of the same identity I keep there. So don't need these two, but we may just leave it there. You don't need them. So because it's practically almost the same thing, you can see it's the same thing so that we have a clean identity IQ for our use. Let's extract that. So now you can see that the components are database, documentation, integration, connector gateway, then identity IQ dot work. So we have to modify the name so that we won't be putting 8.2 when we want to use it. So we have modified the name. You can copy this and take it to the local drive C and paste it here. So you can work existing video on how to enable copy and paste. We have here. Then we we'll open command prompt. Let's look at the command prompt. Let me show you how to open command prompt. You go here, you type CMD, you open command prompt, run as administrator. Now you now type CD space. You have changed the directory back to Windows. Then you now type cd space dot slash identity height, which we have here. You now put identity. You are changing the directory to identity height. You press enter. Then you want to navigate to this directory, identity height. You want to do something important there. So you click and you, you type jar space dash 
act vf space i then one. So you press and sorry, I made a mistake. I, it should be under identity I in your local DC, the identity I key you put there. So as it's been running, as it's running, the different folders are being created. Leave it to run completely. It has completed running now. The running has been completed. We can now go, let's minimize this. We'll go to local disk. You know where we put our identity IQ. You open it. You will see all the different folders that have been created. Now, the next thing, go to databases. You can see different databases that have also been created. If all databases are here, as shown here, you need to run IQ schema. So we have all the databases here. You open the command line client. You put in your password. You press enter. You type show data. Basis, databases, semicolon, press enter. You can see information schema, MySQL, performance schema, killer, system world. There is no identity IQ database there. So what we'll do in essence, we'll type source, then we'll go to local DC identity IQ web dash INF database. We'll look for create identity IQ tables 8.2 MySQL. Then we drag it to the front of source. No, let's, we need to put a space source. We we'll drag it to the front of source here. Yeah. So there should be a space between source and C. You press enter. These are creating tables in your database. You leave it to run on it completes. So it may take some few minutes. So you give it some time. Let it run completely before you can continue to do the next process. So the process has been completed. You now type show date basis colon, semicolon. You can see we now have identity IQ and identity IQ plugins added to the existing data. Then you go to IIQ properties. You open it with notepad. If you don't have notepad, you can easily download one so as to have access to it. So you just download plus plus. You download Notepad plus plus. Just run any of the version. Download it. Give consent. Download. Still working. So it has started to download. version of Notepad plus plus. You click OK. That's the Notepad plus plus. I'm only trying to minimize all this Notepad plus plus. Next. I agree. You click next. Next. So it's a simple process. You can create a shortcut or not. Let me just put a shortcut. Next. You can see. Click finish. So let's go back to this directory. Look at this identity IQ web INF classes. Right click on IIQ properties and open with notepad plus plus. So you can expand it. Here you will see all the details of the installation which we have just done. You can see it here, the rules. You can see maximum data source, maximum with 10,000. Plugin data source, maximum 50. We we'll just continue with our installation. Open command prompt. You run it as administrator. That's the next step. Click yes. You paste in front of this. You press enter. So having done that, you now type, you want to work with the IIQ here. You now put IIQ console. You press enter. Give it a few seconds. Then in front of this here, you now put L. Never mind. I, the step by step guide, which I have put in the description box for your use and replicating the process will be easier for you. All the software, the links to the difference, I will provide them so you can replicate it at your own convenience. You allow this to run because it's going to take some few minutes to run. Now, it has completed successfully. You need to see some things before you confirm it has completed successfully. First, you need to see a rule, CEF activity correlation. That is very, very important. Then you can see application builder. But it's important you see rule activity correlation. The next thing we are going to do is to run the Apache Tomcat, which we downloaded at the beginning of our tutorial. Then you copy this or you move the entire identity IQ folder. But I just want to make a copy and leave that as backup. 
So you go inside Apache Tomcat, you look up web apps. Now I want to use Apache Tomcat 9 version for the installation. So let me check, let me extract Apache Tomcat 9. Now that I have Apache Tomcat 9, I will copy this. I'll copy Apache Tomcat 9. I'll put it in my C drive. Instead of the previous Apache, I want to use a new Apache. Then I'll move my sale point IIQ. Let me copy my sale point IIQ to the new Apache Tomcat under the same web apps. So it's pretty easier than Apache. So let's see what will happen with Apache Tomcat 9. I am using Apache Tomcat 9 version under web apps subfolder. Now, I'll now go back to Apache folder. Then I will start up the Apache server. So it will take some time. You just have to be patient with it to start up completely before we proceed to launch our sale point identity IQ. We can see it's still working. So we need to give it some time. Let's try to start up our sale point identity IQ. You go to the browser and you put this link. So we have a sale point identity and run it. So let's just put in the necessary details and let's log in. So the username will be sadmin and the password will be admin. So I'm now running this sale point identity IQ on Tomcat server 9 and not server 10. So it's successful here. So we can log in with the details, the default username and password, which are sp admin and the password is admin. So we have successfully, and that's it. You successfully installed identity IQ on your virtual machine. Windows Virtual Machine. Now you are all set to explore the powerful features of identity and access management and start configuring roles, policies, and user access. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Davos Technology, and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss out on our latest tech guides and security solutions. Also, let us know in the comments section below if you have any question or need help in sale point configuration, troubleshooting, or integration. We are here to help you. Don't forget that we have the step-by-step -step guide to this tutorial in the description box of this video. This will give you an opportunity to replicate what we have done in this video at your own convenience.